Hello everyone, in this video we are gonna see the laptop motherboard SMD component symbols and working principle. So as you can see here, this is the polarized capacitor, okay, or the chemical capacitor as you can see. We have many types, here we have 470 means 470 mm, microfarads. As you can see here, we have another chemical capacitor. 100 means 100 microfarad. 50 means 50 volts. Okay. So, and this is the date. So here we have symbols. Okay. There is this symbol without plus and minus, but this terminal means plus. Or this symbol, as you can see, with plus, as you can see here. Okay. And of course, this symbol. So the polarized capacitor contains plus and minus. Here we have ceramic capacitor. The ceramic capacitor is not a polarized capacitor. It's called ceramic capacitor or PF capacitor or picofarad capacitor. This is its symbol, as you can see, here without plus and minus. Okay. So, and here we have the network resistors. Okay. The network resistance is a combination of many resistors as you can see it can be four three five six seven etc okay so the the purpose of network resistor is to gain space in the motherboard okay to gain more space in the motherboard and here as you can see we have the code number here one and the three means three zeros here 102 you will add two zeros to 10 means here we have 100 means 10 ohm so this is the SMT resistor, this is a normal resistor, as you can see we have two symbols here, okay, two symbols, so this symbol is universal symbol for the resistor, okay, this is an universal symbol, and for this symbol, this is US symbol, okay, US symbol, so here as you can see we have the code number, the value of the resistor, here we have 10 and 5 zeros, okay, so always the third number is the number of zeros okay here as you can see we have inductors or coils okay inductors or coils there is many types of inductors in the laptop motherboard so this type for example of inductors always the inductor contain two terminals okay two terminals this is the symbol for the inductor okay this is the symbol for the inductor okay here, as you can see, this is the transistors and MOSFETs. So basically, the transistors and, and MOSFETs has the same working principle, but there is a small difference. This is the transistor, as you can see, always you will find this arrow. This arrow means it determines the type of transistor. Is it PNP or NPN? When you find the arrow goes from gate to source means NPN. Here, as you can see, this is the symbol for the MOSFET. We have gates, drain, and source. Okay, so gate, drain, and source. As you can see, this is another symbol for the MOSFET. The same working principle. This is MOSFET with eight pins. Always the three pins are for source and gate, and four other pins is for the drain. This is crystal oscillators. As you can see, this component gives us stable frequency okay stable frequency to the motherboard so basically this is a very important component in every motherboard you will find this kind of crystal oscillator near to the clock generator near to the ICH super IO as you can see here normally this is the MOSFET symbol to test the MOSFET symbol as you can see here we have the drain four pins okay four pins for drain three pins for source and we have gate here this is the control signal okay so to test this mosfet you should use the multimeter and choose the continuity option you should check between drain and source if you find any continuity means the mosfet is shorted you should also check between gate and drain and gate and source so this is the diode so the diode basically as you can see has many types as you can see its symbol is, as you can see here, we have anode and cathode or plus and minus. So, as you can see here, this is a diode. This line here means the cathode, refer to the 
cathode okay and this is a zener diode with blue line okay here we have another diode here we have a diode a double diode this is like a transistor but it contains double diode okay so to test the diode you can just put the black probe in the cathode okay and do a red probe of the multimeter in the anode you should get a reading but if you switch the two probes okay if you switch two probes you should not get any reading here basically this is a schematic that together all components so here as you can see we have here ceramic capacitor as you can see c reference this is chemical capacitor with plus and minus okay as you can see two one two twenty microfarad two point five volt this is inductor the reference always for inductor is l as you can see inductor okay so those are mosfets as you can see mosfets as you can see always the drain contain four pins connected together the source and the gate and this is also ceramic capacitors over here and this is the ground